Let's look at 2 times the square root of x minus 3 times the square root of y quantity squared. We notice the square outside the parentheses tells me to use the base as a factor 2 times. So I can write 2 times the square root of x minus 3 times the square root of y times 2 times the square root of x minus 3 times the square root of y. Since I had subtraction, I could not use my properties of exponents. So I just had to remember that the exponent 2 told me to use everything in the parentheses as a factor two times. Now I can use the four method. Multiplying the first, two times two is four. The square root of x times the square root of x is the square root of x squared. Multiplying the last together, or the outside, I'm sorry, multiplying the outside, two times three is six. Square root of x times the square root of y is the square root of xy. Multiplying the inside, the negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Square root of y times the square root of x is the square root of xy. Finally, multiplying the last, a negative 3 times a negative 3 is a positive 9. The square root of y times the square root of y is the square root of y squared. Now I can take the square roots. The square root of x squared is x, so I have 4x. I'm going to combine these like radicals. A negative 6 plus a negative 6 is negative 12. So a negative 6 times the square root of xy plus a negative 6 times the square root of xy is a negative 12 times the square root of xy. And the square root of y squared is y, so I have 9y. So the final answer is 4x subtract 12 times the square root of xy plus 9y. Now I'm going to give you a couple exercises that involve the multiplication. Multiply. The first one, the cube root of 3x times the cube root of 9x to the fifth minus the cube root of x squared. The second one, 4 times the square root of 2x minus 1 times 3 times the square root of 2x plus 5. Again, once you have copied down the two problems, stop the tape and do the exercises and then restart the tape to compare answers. Here come your answers. The answer to the first one, 3x squared, subtract x times the cube root of 3. The second one, 24x plus 17 times the square root of 2x minus 5. If you disagree with either of these answers, be sure to check with someone. This completes tape 122. You should now be able to add, subtract, and multiply expressions involving radicals. You should also know that the procedure is essentially the same as that for adding, subtracting, and multiplying polynomials.